when it comes to choosing leaders in this part of the world, one of the key features that a lot of people want to see in the leader is experience. Many people are of the opinion that competence and character makes a great leader. But the question remains, which is the most important to have between competence and character? In the last three years, Governor Adegbo Igaoyitola has been described by many as a man of good character, worthy of emulation, and notwithstanding, a man that is competent to manage the affair of Oshun State. In this edition of Oshun in Focus, Mr. Ismail Omikwido, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor of Oshun State, speaks to us about the character and competence of the Governor, who is also the candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the July 16, 2022 Oshun Governorship poll. He highlights to us the reasons he believes that Governor Itola should be re-elected, not only because of the project he has done, but also because of his competence for the seat and the good character he has displayed while in office. Me, I believe that uh, the governor happened on our soil at a very critical moment in our history. Uh, Oyotola came at a time when many had thought that um, Oshun was finished. Oedola came at a time when many had thought that payment of regular salaries in Oshun was impossible. Oedola came at a time when many had thought that our mothers and fathers who were in the business of um, uh, selling and sewing school uniforms would never have business to do again in their entire life. Oedola came at a time when many thought that um, because of a lack of payment of regular salaries, the local economy will never grow. But thank God that um, so far he has been able to prove uh, doubting Thomas's. He has proved them wrong. Uh, for me, I tell people that uh, my principal is one man that is uh, very, very prudent with uh, resources. And that is why, in spite of the fact that um, we are running on a very lean finance, we are still able to meet up with our obligations as far as uh, the state is concerned. For instance, uh, recently there was a month uh, we received the uh, minus 375 million. In spite of that negative, we are still able to meet our obligations for that month. We paid salaries regularly, we paid uh, pensions regularly, and we still attended to some other little, little uh, government activities. The subsequent month, again, what we received was about 177 million. Again, that didn't stop us from meeting our obligations as far as um, government responsibility is concerned. I was telling a group of young men and women recently that for me, uh, Oyetola has proven beyond all reasonable doubt that um, he means well for the state and that is desirous about growing the economy of the state. Omikwido narrates how when he got into office as a mouthpiece of the governor, Oyetola instructed him never to report anything that did not happen and never to say things that the government would not or will not be able to do, which he said came to him as a root shock because he expected that as a politician, it is supposed to be the other way around. I was appointed some three years ago. I was very, very skeptical about working with a politician, especially one that I barely knew. I barely know. Uh, I came in touch with Oyetola. I knew him. I came. I had physical contact with him for the first time in my life two weeks before the announcement of my appointment. So I didn't know him from anywhere. And so even when I was coming on board, 
I was not too sure if I was going to stay to work with uh, Mr. Governor or not because before my contact with him, I am one of those who believe that um, it's always difficult to work with someone you barely know. Uh, but so far, uh, my principal has proved me wrong as far as that is concerned. Uh, when I came in, I gave myself three months within which to decide whether I want to stay or not. But within one month, Oetola gave me enough reason to want to stay. First, when we had cause to issue a statement over uh, the back and forth between Oyo and Osho over Lautech. Uh, after discussion with my principal, after an hour debate, and he accepted I could go ahead to issue the release. As I was leaving his office, he, too, he called me back. He said, CPS, I said, sir, he said, don't lie about what we have not done. Say only those things we have done. Be sure of your facts. Don't say things that will embarrass us. For me, it came like a huge relief for me because if you ask me, that was one of my fears. Because since I didn't know him, I didn't know the type of politician he is. But that was the first time I was hearing that from any politician since my association with politi uh, politicians over 20 years ago. Uh, the second incident, we had a function, a speech was written, and we were reviewing the speech together. And we got to a, a stage, he said, no, uh, this is a lie. We have not done anything like this. Please remove it. Remove this. Remove this. Only very few public of, uh, officials will do that. In fact, most of them what they haven't done is what they reel out to the members of the public. But with you, 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 you can't get away with such a thing. Omek Pidon said that he is confident of victory for his principal, Governor Itola, because of the excellent work they have been able to do. There was a time we needed to travel emergency to Abuja. And the list of the chartered flight they got was 10 million naira. And my principal shouted and said, Ah, what do you King Kanlo Abuja, 10 million. No. Eventually, we had to divide ourselves into three because we couldn't get one single commercial flight to convey all of us. All in an attempt to save costs. Eventually, for that trip, we spent less than 2 million naira as against, you know, the 10 million. You know, so for a governor and for his state, it's not as if, um, for, for, for a governor. Of that status to tell you that 10 million is too expensive that will tell you how he's been managing you know the resources of the state that is why in spite of the fact that we have not borrowed in the last uh, three and a half years we are paying the debts we inherited and we are still able to meet up with our obligations so uh, i believe very strongly that any responsible and reasonable or so person, man or woman, old or young, with what has transpired in the last three and a half years, will surely not only pray, but work for the return of Governor Adegboe Igawitola for a second time. Oikpidon also called upon the people of a short state, including members of the opposition party, to place sentiment aside and place first the development of a short state by voting Oitola, whose focus it is that Oshun is at par with other states in Nigeria. To my brothers on the other side, the opposition, if indeed we are desirous about growing Oshun, if indeed we are desirous about the development and the growth of Oshun, we must put a party difference aside. We must rally. We should be able to rally support for Governor Adebo Igawitola. But I believe that if you all sit down quietly in your inner recess, search your conscience, look at where we were in 2018 and look at where we are today 
I am very sure, I'm convinced within me that um, you, you wouldn't want to change this thing as far as the growth and development of Osho is concerned. Uh, Mr. Debo Gawitola has demonstrated beyond a reasonable doubt that he has both the mental and physical capacity to take us to greater heights. And I want to urge all of us to troop out on Mars on July 16 to cast our vote in favor of Adigbo Iga Oyitola.